Take a look at these side-by-side -side images showing the devastation from Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Katrina. Many people are comparing our historic flooding to what New Orleans experienced back in 2005. While our crews were witnessing incredible rescues by first responders, we met several flood victims who survived Katrina. Now, they eventually moved to Houston, and today those flood victims are living the experience all over again. Sadly so. Nick Monticelli from our sister station in Detroit live in the Cinco Ranch area with their stories. Nick. Bill Dominey, good evening to you. It's been an emotional time for everyone evacuated by Harvey, but as you can imagine, those emotions are double that for those who are going through now both hurricanes. Every single person I've talked to that have experienced both, they used to tell their family and friends uh, while they were being evacuated from this area that that was the worst thing that has ever happened to them. And then Harvey happened. We're about to y'all live. We are neighbors. We are on the corner of Clear Canyon and Black Canyon. As the horrifying and emotional stories of loved ones lost and loved things left behind continue to be told, we knew there would be some experiencing deja vu. I would have never moved over here. Robert survived the devastation of Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. You don't want to go in there. You don't have I to know exactly where it's happening. Now a search and rescue team was gracious enough to bring Robert through the floodwaters in Canyon Gate Cinco Ranch area. Is that where you put your cat, Jeff? Hoping he could find the closest thing he has to kids alive. It's okay, buddy. You mind uh, opening that crate, sir? Uh, we've had him for like 10 years. He's like a family member. I don't have kids. My animals are my kids. I lived through Katrina, but it was not this bad. This is, uh, my faith in humanity has been restored by all the fine volunteers that are helping us out. I'm starving. I know, I'm hungry too. I need a shower. Food. And at the GRB Convention Center, even more displaced from New Orleans to Houston, only to deal with this again. Georgia Weber says the hardest part is being a mom to two boys and not having any answers. Like I said, I'm hopeful. You know, they, yeah, I mean, that's all I can pretty much say right now. And those emotions and those rescues have been happening here all day in the Canyon Gate Seco Ranch area. And uh, Bill and Dominique, I cannot begin to fathom what it is like to have to leave everything you know and love behind once, but then to have to do it twice, I don't think anything can compare to that. No. Well, you know, Nick, we took in like 150,000 survivors of Katrina here mm -hmm. in, in Houston, and they have added such a, a, a great thing to our city, and it's really sad that they've had to go through this again. And it, it leads me to ask, as you're standing in water yet again today, what is the status of that water? Is there any change from earlier? You know, we were out here, we've been out here all day long, and the water in the past hour or so has dropped maybe an inch or so, but that is not by any means the green light to come back into this area. The sheriff saying it is still incredibly dangerous. The water still filled with electricity and bacteria and snakes. This is not safe, and it won't be until they say so. So don't bring your boats, don't bring your kayaks, don't bring your paddle boards. Stay out of this area for now. One more quick question. You're volunteering to help us out here from our station in Detroit, where you always work. Ever seen anything like this before, Nick? No, uh, well, personally, yes. I was dispatched to help another sister station when I worked for a different company in uh, D.C. to help during Hurricane Sandy. Mm -hmm. That didn't even compare to this. And during that story, it was briefly mentioned, I think the biggest issue with this hurricane is that the damage and the catastrophe is so widespread. Mm -hmm. With Katrina and Sandy, the areas were kind of geographically centered. This, it took a very long time, I think, for even the emergency crews to realize which areas were going to need all the help. Also, yeah. as impressive. I think would be the people that you've run across. You know, unbelievably so. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, when they realized we were not from this area, they were happy to see us. And second of all, uh, I've blogged about this a couple of times now. The people that you have here in the Houston area are simply incredible. I've talked about the Texan spirit and, and the Texan camaraderie. Nothing I have seen in my lifetime compares to what you have here. Well, we've been talking about you behind the scenes. We're thinking we might try to steal you yeah, from you're, Detroit. Yeah, you have to stay. <laughs> I'm going to call your family and just tell them that good, they're relocating. Good job, Nick. Thank you so much. Move on over. All right. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.